My name is Zarkan Nimr. I'm a CTO and co-founder of a new startup called Ataraf.com. It's a matchmaking website for the Arab world. Basically, uh, everything I'm talking now is things I've learned in the last couple of months to uh, deal, to cope with the scaling and uh, the increase of traffic on a website. Okay, so I'm going to divide this in three parts. Uh, first, uh, the, t the topic is best practices for, ri for writing large web applications. So the first part is going to be the tools used. The second one will be some things about server-side code. And the third part will be about the client-side code. Okay, for the tools, OLC do not use Apache. Use Nginx, I, uh, uh, Nginx, sorry. I suffered a lot from that, uh, and it broke, my website broke very fast under a lot of pressure. Uh, do not use shared hosting. Use VPS or platform as a service, Linode, Amazon, or uh, Heroku, or Shabibi Killa. Okay, uh, third thing, have three environments. One local, one staging, and one for production. And never deploy using FTP. D write your own deployment scripts and migra data migration scripts. Believe me, it's such a nice thing to be able to deploy all your code and make sure that everything's working in one line of code. Uh, okay, monitor uptime uh, at all time. Use services like Pingdom, which offer a very nice service for free. It sends you an SMS and uh, sorry, <laughs> it sends you an SMS. It sends you an SMS if something is wrong. And uh, monitor performance using New Relic if you have a lot of money, or use uh, Nagios, which is free open source software that does almost the same thing, but it looks much uglier. Uh, the third thing is you're going to have to do a lot of computations and do uh, some stuff that will take uh, some CPU and virtual memory power. So to avoid making the user wait and pay for the stuff, you're going to have to use some kind of queuing system. You don't want them to wait or, asyn or asynchronous thing. Well, Gearman is a very solid tool for this. It's uh, written in C and Google invented it. Google started it. So that should prove something. Uh, index your database. Uh, I had a table that I forgot to index, and uh, it uh, quadrupled my uh, syntax, my uh, time. And I found this out using New Relic. Uh, and last, for the tools, uh, use key value stores for caching. This is very important. Use Memcache or Redis. Do not rely everything on the database. OK, the second part is the server-side code. So for now, I'm pretty convinced that uh, MVC is uh, one of the most solid software design patterns for server-side code. It works well. It's nice. It's, you can mix very big stuff in very easy manners. The, I don't care any, uh, much about the language, but I use PHP because uh, I have a soft, uh, I like it. And I know uh, how <laughs> uh, Write your configuration files for each env environment and let uh, let it be handled automatically. You don't have to change anything in your code when you move from local to staging or staging to production. All this must be done behind the scenes. Uh, test all your business logic and put it in your deployment scripts. You want to know before your code hits staging that something exploded or something is not working. For this, you have many tools. You can use uh, unit testing frameworks. There's a lot of these. And you can use something like Selenium testing, which you, in which you can test on many browsers before actually deploying your code. Uh, the third, the last thing in this is uh, refactor your code, even if it takes you two days of work. If you start hating your code, you're going to stop working. You can't keep adding features before you really love your code and want to make love to it. <laughs> uh, okay, so refactoring is very, very important. And if you have additional servers, for example, in my case, I had, uh, I had my engine X on one server, and I have an XMPP server that does a lot of computations. So I basically moved it to another machine, a virtual private machine, and it communicates to the database through a web service to insert stuff in it. Don't make it, uh, don't make it talk with it directly. Okay, and now about the client-side code. Uh, the most hype thing to do now is to use MVC on your uh, client-side code, like uh, Backbone and uh, stuff like this. Uh, it's the cool thing to do now. Hello, and I'm not convinced that it works for everything. I'm sure it works for a lot of applications, but I don't like the idea that it's the best thing and it's for scalable and all the buzzwords that come with it. Uh, there's, for example, Fly.js, which is a Twitter framework, which is based on components uh, in JavaScript. I think it's not important. There's no one software design pattern for JavaScript or client-side code, but what you have to think about is uh, really what you need for your application. 
Uh, so the important thing is uh, don't think, and I've seen a lot of developers do it, uh, th don't think uh, your client-side code as an HTML and some JavaScript hacks that do some stuff to it. Like you have to really integrate the whole thing to make it work very smoothly. And you, you, you need to f be able to identify bugs on the fly on your client-side code. And to do this, you're going to have to use some kind of software design pattern because it doesn't work another way. What I do is uh, I, have, I like to have uh, a god in each, uh, co in each cl uh, code I write. So I have a main uh, object that dispatches objects for each uh, component, you see, for each logical component. And if I have a login form, I'm going to have an object for this in JavaScript. If I have something else, there's going to be another object. And there's going to be one god object that's keeping track of all of these. But that's just my way. It's close betray to component flight.js. If I knew about it before, I would have used it probably. But uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, that's it. Oh, and use the strict naming conventions and smart naming conventions. I used to work with someone who used to put uh, camel case for SQL, which is, is not case sensitive. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much.